I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction because every decision you make with an incoming pass impacts the next. You never know where the hand will end up using the same tiles. We're going to do the exercise twice and compare results. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do two iterations. We'll be the dealer, so we'll use 14 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a flower, a pair of ease, white dragon, four, eight, nine in cracks. Then we have five, seven in bams with a pair of sevens, three, five, seven in dots with a pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would build around the sevens. We do have five nine potential for big odds. I think I would keep all odds. I think odds has the strongest potential. We could maybe play like numbers with sevens. And we actually have three tiles we can pass. It's a little risky with two evens in one suit. We might be able to break that up a little by passing the three and focus on big odds. So I think I would do that. Pass those three. We're going to focus on big odds for the first iteration and then maybe like numbers with sevens in the second go round. We'll take a photo. There is a big odd hand with dragons. So let's keep the dragon. Maybe pass these three. Take a photo. We did get a three, but we have a lot of big odds. Let's pass these three. We'll take a photo. We do have some consecutive run tiles here. And now we have a pair of flowers. Five, six, seven flowers. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. I'm thinking about the concealed hand. I think that's what I would do. So I would pass those two and break up the dragons. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. Take a photo. We did pick up a nine. Five, seven, nine. Maybe we could play the five, seven, nine pair hand. Now this is a very risky pass for the year 2021. That would be very risky. I don't think I would do that and I would not pass a flower. I think what I would do is pass the nine. Let's take a photo. And we have a dilemma. Look at these tiles. This is going to be very risky. But I think I would continue. We 
we'll take another photo. We have another flower. We could maybe play five, six, seven flowers. Pear, Pung, Kong flowers. So we went from big odds to consecutive run. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. So we have eight tiles towards that hand, and we have eight tiles towards that hand. The concealed hand is a higher point hand. We could pass two. Since we're playing a potential concealed hand, let's risk it. And we picked up the white dragon. All right, so we have either five, six, seven flowers. We have six discards with joker bait. Or we could play five, seven, five, seven, nine with three discards and joker bait with flowers. It's a little risky going for that as joker bait. But you can get jokers with flowers if you discard them at the right time. So let's see if there was a better result with maybe like numbers with sevens. Maybe like numbers with sevens and flowers, news. Well, there are three hands to choose from. So let's reset and see what happens with like numbers. Here's what we started with. So let's keep like numbers. And we'll break up the east, send a five, and maybe an eight. Here we go. White dragon. So that could help with like numbers with sevens and dragons. Let's do east, one, Let's see, maybe nine, four, thinking about the next pass. Red, let's keep it. Maybe we'll get the seven crack. Now here we did pick up a pair. We do have a lot of discards, so maybe we can hold that for potential joker bait. 618. Actually, maybe the 5 would be better. We got a 7 and a flower. You know what I was just thinking? Maybe we should have kept the wins for news with 7s. Let's pass the dragon. Uh, 6 and 3. Let's keep the south. Maybe we can build up news. Let's pass these three. East, almost news. Now here's a white dragon. We don't have a green dragon in here. We have a pair of flowers. I think news is best. Let's stick with it and pass a white dragon. It's a little risky. Flower. The flowers, there are four flowers in the second hand down. Let's pass two. We have a south, but we need news. We don't need a multiple. So I would discard those. 
I would say probably we have almost news, our sevens, five discards. Here's Joker Bait. I think this had a little better results than the other, but I think both were doable. There's an old saying that applies to American Mahjong. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Two players can look at the same dealt hand and play two completely different things and have equitable results. If you look at a dealt hand, identify the strength of the hand, build around that strength, whether it's a multiple or the predominant pattern, make your decision pass by pass and go with the flow. Reassess if you develop a new multiple. At the end of the Charleston, if you have four discards or less, I would call that a success. And I'd say that you are optimized for that particular hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.